you've got a famous passage today. A lot of people know, even just if you say John 3.16, it's that phrase, isn't it? God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Hmm, may not perish. I wonder uh, what that's about. Eternal life, what is that about? I mean, is it just about, you know, judgment about what happens when you die? Uh, what happens in the afterlife? Or could it be something about how we're living today, about the world today? I'm so thrilled because this is sort of the conversation we had in our Lent Bible group on Wednesday. We talked through all these different things, just beginning to grapple about what do we think, about what this passage might be saying to us, about who God is, about who we are, how it connects to what's going on in the world today. And also just what does it remind us of? Like, what does, how does this connect with things that we've seen in literature or what music or, and actually Stuart, he told us about a favorite film it reminded him of um, and I actually watched it this week uh, and I loved it too it's a film that came out in the 80s but it's called A Month in the Country and it's about well it's about this hidden mural in a country parish church that's been kind of whitewashed over and the main character is played by Col Colin Firth called Birkin and he comes back from the First World War with a stutter and night terrors kind of p p PTSD type stuff but he's also a mural restorer. Um, and so he comes to do this piece of work to bit by bit, painstakingly rub away the whitewash paint, which is kind of at the very uh, front of the church, above the high altar, um, to reveal a magnificent wall mural underneath. The mural itself, as it's revealed, is both kind of glorifying, glorious, but also terrifying, because alongside this sort of magnificent, triumphant, risen Jesus, there are some truly awful images of judgment, of devils, of eternal torment, people hanging upside down and being tortured. Hmm. Why am I telling you this? Well, this film really moved me in so many ways. Firstly, it seemed to be I felt all about the relationship between God, church, life and truth. It's like as though gradually as the mural is being gradually revealed, so too is there an uncovering of truth in the people in the story. We see a, a, the hypocrisy of the priest. We see it in the kindness of the children. Birkin, the restorer, is able to shout out, there is no God into like the the you know it's like the truth of it what he really feels is being able to cry out the cry of forsakenness that we so often hear in the psalmists or it sounded even a bit like jesus crying out my god my god why have you forsaken me from the cross and then we also see in birkin um his acceptance and his friendship and his love uh, in a kind of very um, uh, deep friendship way of um, the different people in the story, including the archaeologist, um, Mr Moon, uh, despite loads of the other things he hears and the reaction of others. There is this real thread throughout the film about the uncovering of truth alongside um, a thread that weaves through it, which is about gentle, welcoming love, about friendship and community that kind of actually seems almost like a balm of healing to Birkin. I just wonder about this. I, in the light of this week, we've had kind of the real revealing again and heard and seen more about the injustices we know in the world. And it's been truth told us again and again you know the truth of Naznanin, of megan of sarah countless women's stories of violence being told shocking people we know and that they have gone through these stories we've heard about 
revealing of the trappings of institution, of systemic injustice, of poverty, unequal pay. Just to name a few, I wonder what stories of truth you have heard uncovered and revealed this week. I wonder maybe Jesus is reminding us that he came to bring and bring love and show love, that God didn't condemn the world, but it's like we condemn it ourselves, don't we? In the story, in the film, Birkin says, you know, does he believe in hell? Well, he says he believes in hell on earth. And then there's Mrs. Keach, this really lovely, genuine vicar's wife who seems so full of love, who seems to discover beauty and truth in creation. And she just simply says to Birkin, thank you for letting me see. I wonder if we are also able to thank Jesus today. Thank you for letting me see. Letting me see with eyes of truth, letting me see with eyes of love. Thank you, God, who so loved the world. God the Father, or today we might remember God the Mother on Mothering Sunday. God, the Father and Mother of us all, who sent the Son to love us and show us how to see. Show us how to love. Amen.